Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically create PDFs from your SOLIDWORKS drawings using SOLIDWORKS PDM tasks integrated into your workflows. So in your PDM administration tool, right click on the tasks folder and select new task. Give your task a name, then from the add-in drop-down select SOLIDWORKS task add-in Change execute task as user to be the admin user and type in the admin password. Then click next. For the execution method, select execute on a computer where the task is initiated and select from the list of computers which computers will be supported. Then click next. I'm going to leave my menu command settings as default. Then click next. For script, I'm going to specify that SOLIDWORKS must use the latest version, which is SOLIDWORKS 2020. And I'm going to change the task user interface type to be file conversion. You now need to restart the convert to PDF task in the PDM tool for the user interface to update correctly. We're going to pick up where we left off. So by conversion settings, change the output file format to be PDF. We are not going to make any changes to configurations except uncheck allow the user to change the setting. Then click on sheets. We're going to select all sheets to output. Then we're also going to say include all sheets in the same output file. Then also select use the latest version of the referenced files. Then uncheck the option allow the user to change the setting for all three options. The default path, I'm going to specify that my PDF must be saved to the same folder where the source file comes from. So I click on this list and select source folder path. Then type backslash and I want my PDF name to consist of two components. I want it to have the same source file name. Then type underscore and I'm also going to select source file revision. So the PDF will have a combination of the original file name and a suffix with a revision. I'm going to uncheck the option allow the user to change the output path. Then click next to go to permissions. This is where you specify what users can execute these tasks. Then click OK. The task configuration is now complete. We now need to specify in the workflow when we want it to execute. So open up your workflow. In this case, I want it to happen during this past approval transition. So double click on that. Then jump to actions. Select add action. Then give your action a description. Change the type to execute task. And I'm going to say run for files with these extensions. And I'm going to type SLDDRW. This is the file extension for SOLIDWORKS drawings. Then from select task to execute, make sure you've selected convert to PDF. Click OK and OK. Then click save. You have now successfully set up your task. Time to test. Let's jump over to our PDM vault. As you can see in my vault, I've got a number of parts, assemblies and drawings and they're all waiting for approval. What I'm going to do is select my files and then change their state. Changing the state will trigger your PDM task to run. This will automatically open up all the drawing files inside SOLIDWORKS and save them out as PDF files. Once the task is complete, you will see all the PDFs have been added to your vault and checked in automatically with the correct file name and in the correct folder. Thank you for watching.